guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share with you a review of the new Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Palette. I'm going to be sharing a tutorial on this eye look today with the palette. I'll give you guys some slight comparisons to the Too Faced Chocolate Gold, talk about it compared to the Sweet Peach Palette as well. And yeah, that's what we're going to be doing for today's video. If you guys want to know everything about the new Gingerbread Spice Palette, then just keep on watching. Gingerbread Spice Palette is now available online at Sephora and Ulta for $49, the same price as all of the other Too Faced full-size palettes. This palette is said to be a limited edition online, so we'll see how long it stays around for. I'm hoping that it stays around longer than just this holiday season because it is a very nice palette. Like They put a lot of work into this palette and into the shades, the formula, and everything. So I was kind of sad to see that it is limited edition. Um, but this palette has 18 shades. It has 10 matte shades and 8 shimmer or foiled shadows. So those are all of the colors. And then there's also a couple similarities to the Chocolate Gold palette, which released around this time last year. So I'll show you guys some swatch comparisons to the chocolate gold. I thought it was gonna be kind of similar to the Sweet Peach palette, but it's honestly like not super similar. There's some similar shades, but the formula is very, very different. So I'll get into all of that, but let's go ahead into the swatches so you guys can see all 18 shades in the palette. So getting into all of the swatches, I'm just gonna go row by row. I'm just gonna start off with this first row. And the first shade is the lightest shade in the palette and it's called Powdered Sugar. It's kind of just like an eggshell color. Then we have the shade Spiced Eggnog, and this is the lightest shimmer shade in the palette. It's just like a really pretty shimmer champagne color. Then we have a bold pink color. This is called Gum Drop, which is just a matte shade. Next up, we have the matte brown shade Gingerbread, which has a little bit of an orangey hint to it. I have it a lot in my eye today. Then we have the gold shade Warm and Toasty. This is a really pretty gold color. It swatches so nicely. It applies really nicely as well. And then we have the shade Oh Burn, which is a shimmer purple shade. So those are all the shadows in the first row. Moving into the second row, this is a kind of like shadow topper. This is called Frostbite Me, so it's not going to swatch like super pigmented. I just kind of build it up to show you guys the color but you're gonna really need to pack it on if you want it to show up on your eye, but it's really more of a shadow topper. And then we have the shade Looky at My Cookie, and this is a matte kind of peachy shade. And then next we have the shade Spices Nice, which is a matte orange shade. And then next to that we have the shade Oh Snap, which is kind of like a pinky orange shade. This is a matte color, but it has a little bit of glitter in it, but it just kind of shows up matte. I have it on my eyes today. Then Bake It Till You Make It is a copper shimmer shade. It's really, really pretty. I have it in the inner corner or outer corner of my eye today. And then lastly, the shade all over my lid today is Spice of Life. This shade is so pigmented. It's super pretty. And then moving into the third row, this is Sugar Daddy. This is a pale pink matte shade. You can barely see it on my arm. And then Figgy Pudding is a dark matte purple shade. It's kind of like an eggplant color. Next up, the shade Hot Toddy is kind of like a cranberry shade and has like a gold reflect to it. And then Reindeer Paw is a darker kind of plum matte purple shade. It's hard to get like the purples to show up really nicely swatched, but they apply really nicely when I do like put them on my eye. Then Gingerbread Latte is another matte brown shadow. And then lastly, Spiced Rum is a darker purple shimmer shade. This one has a bit more fallout. It isn't like a foiled shadow like some of the other shimmers, but those are all 18 shades in the palette. It's definitely like a very holiday palette vibe with all of like the fall tones and kind of colorful shades and like the greens and the pinks in there. So really, really love the color scheme in this palette. And the formula in here is really, really consistent. There's just one shade that is like a shadow topper that's gonna apply really differently. This shade Frostbite Me, I have a little bit on the center of my eye, but it really didn't do too much to my eye look. Um, there's a very similar shade in the Urban Decay Elements palette that I just reviewed, and that one actually showed up a bit more pigmented. But the rest of the shades all apply really nicely. The matte shadows, like, 
the swatches really don't do them justice because every time I apply one on my eye, like it goes on really pigmented, it blends out really easily. So um, the swatches are kind of weak, but the actual application and the pigmentation and blending the shadows together apply really, really nicely. And then the shimmers in here are more so foiled and metallic. So that's where I saw like the biggest difference between this palette and like all of the original chocolate bar palettes and even the sweet peach palette when i first saw like pictures of this palette i thought it was going to be very similar to the sweet peach palette but honestly like there's some similar like browns and pinks in here but really like the formula is very different because the shimmers are more like satin finishes and in the gingerbread palette you're going to get a lot more of like a foiled look so just like the overall look that you're creating with the gingerbread palette is going to be very different to the sweet peach palette all right so now just comparing it to the chocolate gold palette i pulled out some similar shades and the formula in here is very similar to the gingerbread palette because you are getting more of those foiled shadows the biggest difference with this palette there's only four matte shadows and that's part of why i don't always reach for this palette because i'm just using like the same um kind of basic transition shades with all of like the really pretty lid colors. So I usually use this palette in combination with like another palette for some more matte shades. But these are the shade comparisons. Over here we have the Gingerbread Spice palette and then on the other side is the Chocolate Gold palette. This shade is Warm and Toasty. This is Chocolate Gold. Then we have um, Spice of Life and Holler for a Dollar. Oh Burn and Living Lavish. Bake It Till You Make It, and Love and Cocoa. So definitely a couple similarities between both palettes. Really, the green shade is not like super similar, like the shade I'm wearing on my lid compared to the one in the chocolate gold palette. That one's way more green, and the one I'm wearing today is like more of an olivey gold color. Um, some of the other shades are a little bit different, like a little bit different undertone, so they're not like the exact same shade or anything. Um, but the actual formula is very similar between both, but I think overall, just like the Gingerbread Palette has so many more matte shadows compared to the Chocolate Gold Palette, you're getting some similar shades in general, but definitely not like identical palette. But anyways, that is all for all of these swatches and comparisons. Let's go ahead into the tutorial so you guys can see how I got this eye look using the Gingerbread Spice Palette. So getting right into the Gingerbread Palette, I'm gonna start off with the lightest shade Powdered Sugar, and this is actually like pretty pale on my skin but just using it as like a base color to set my concealer and then i'm gonna go in with this shade oh snap it's kind of like a peachy pinky tone it has um glitter chunks in it but it is a matte shadow and i'm using a brand new i just opened this a brand new sigma e40 and this is what my old one looks like after two years so i figured i should upgrade and get a second one of my favorite brush after using the same one like in every single tutorial so i'm just gonna use this and you guys can see like in the matte shadows there's not any lighter shades so that is kind of difficult if you do have more of a um light to fair complexion like even on me i can get away with like using one of these shades as like my first transition shade but i prefer to use something like slightly lighter to start off and the matte shadows in here do have quite a bit of kick up in the pan like when you um, put your brush into the pan, you are gonna get some fallout, but not actually like down my face. When I apply it onto my eyes, they like go on really, really pigmented and they blend out really easily. I'm just gonna use the same brush to layer on the shade Gingerbread. And you can see Gingerbread and Gingerbread Latte are really similar. This one's just like a little bit more orangey. So I do wish there was just like a lighter brown in there. I think that's like the only thing that's really missing for me in the palette is like that first transition shade and just something a little bit lighter and then i'm just gonna go in with the shade gingerbread latte this is a morphe m573 i almost dipped my brush into like a completely different color um but i really like this brush for like more specific blending in my crease okay i'm just gonna go ahead and like build this up a little bit more intense because why not so I'm taking the shade Spice of Life on a Morphe M124. I really wish this shade was called Spice Up Your Life um, because it would make me so happy. But this is like an olive -y color that has a hint of gold to it. Super, super foiled. Like you're gonna get some fallout. You can see a little bit of fallout on my face, but this has a lot of pigment to it. So definitely the foiled shades are really pigmented, really easy to pack on and you do get some fallout like i have fallout all over here i haven't cleaned it up yet i think i'm seeing a lot of fallout is because 
it is like more of a metallic shadow but this is definitely like not the biggest issue it's not gonna like you know ruin your makeup i'm just gonna take a pencil brush and i'm gonna pack on the shade bake it till you make it which is just like a copper darker brown just pack that on to the outer corner taking a little bit more of gingerbread latte with a flat blending brush i'm just gonna kind of clean up my crease a little bit just to find a little bit more and make it slightly more dramatic and then i'm going to take this shade spiced eggnog this is a really pretty all over color i use this for like a really neutral look um when i was taking outfit photos the other day and this is like that color you want on your lid for like an everyday more natural look so i just applied a little bit of a bronzy liner to my lower lash line i just used the color chameleon and bronze garnet from charlotte tilbury it's like super creamy and very bronzy and i'm just going to take those two um darker brown matte shadows i'm going to blend those together and then probably add a little bit of this copper color as well all right so all of the eyeshadow is complete i'm gonna go ahead and put on some mascara and lashes and then just finish up with this review all right guys so this is the final look with this palette i've also used like the pink and purple shades to get more of a bolder like cranberry look and then also a lot of the neutral tones for more of an everyday look so two things to also keep in mind with this palette with the shimmer shadows because they're more like foiled and metallic you are going to get a bit of fallout especially if you pack them on like i did with this color on my eye today if you do more of like a natural more subtle look you're not really going to get a lot of fallout but if you want to go for a bolder look you are going to get a decent amount of fallout and it's definitely not a big deal to me because it's not so pigmented that it's going to ruin the rest of your makeup i'm just able to dust it off with whatever shadows i'm using in this palette even like the darker purple tones and it's totally fine so that's just one thing to keep in mind if you're worried about the fallout um like i said you do get some kick up with especially the matte shadows are going to be a little bit more powdery in the pan but i don't find a lot of fallout when i apply them onto my face and then also the actual tones of this palette if you do have like a lighter skin tone like a light to fair skin tone just know that there's not that many light neutral shades you're kind of limited to like this pink um this pale pink sugar daddy and looking at my cookie which is more of like a pale peachy color i wish there was more of a light brown shade because i don't necessarily want to use like a light peach as my starter transition shade with like every eye look so that is something to keep in mind too that you're kind of limited if you want more of those subtle transition shades or more of those like lighter transition shades and you don't want to commit to a bolder look because a lot of the matte shades in here are bolder and a little bit darker like the brown tones in here are definitely darker and like a shade i would normally use for like an outer corner um for like an everyday look so i do wish for sure with this palette that there was maybe like one or two lighter matte shades just for some more variety and then probably one more lighter shimmer shade because we do have this shade spiced eggnog which is a really pretty champagne color like you can do an everyday eye look with that shade but i just wish that there was maybe like one more lighter um shimmer color just to like change it up for more everyday looks but overall if you want something that has some more pops of color to it but not super out there or bold that's really pigmented really great quality definitely really enjoying this palette if you like the color tones in this palette if you're familiar with some of the other Too Faced palettes I think you would really really enjoy this like I said it definitely has more of a foiled formula compared to like all the chocolate bar palettes um, and even a little bit creamier than the chocolate gold palette which I really appreciate so really really happy with it oh i forgot to mention the smell that's like another letdown because i have to like hold this up to my face like super close well with the palette open <laughs> i hold it up to my face super close to try to get like that gingerbread smell but i feel like i'm almost making it up because i'm trying so hard to like smell the gingerbread it's super super faint it's definitely not as like intense as the other Too Faced palettes like with the chocolate bar palette sweet peach palette like i open it like over here and i can smell it here i literally need to have this in my face to try to smell it and trust me i've done that because i really wanted to feel like gingerbread spice every time that i use this palette but it's definitely a super super subtle scent i wish that they 
kind of step that up a little bit too. Alright guys, that is everything for this review and tutorial of the Ginger Red Spice Palette from Too Faced. Overall, it did not disappoint. I was super excited for it and I'm so glad that I have it. I'm definitely going to be doing more looks with it. I will have some more on my Instagram in the next couple of days, so definitely stay tuned for that if you guys want to see some tutorials with some of the other colors in here. And I will link the palette down below. That is everything for today's video. If you guys liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.